This is the sound of climate change. Rennell Glacier is part of Glacier National Park in Montana, an area sometimes called the crown of the continent. But the ice sheets for which the park was named are melting fast. This whole basin was completely filled with ice. There was no water here in the 1930s. Scientist Dan Fagri has been studying the process for decades. So the first time I came up and looked at this glacier in 1992, the ice covered much more of these benches. And so every year that I've come up here, I've noticed that incrementally uh, this glacier's retreated. In 1910, there were over 150 glaciers in the park. Only 25 are left. Scientists say if the ice keeps melting at this rate, within 20 years, there won't be any glaciers in Glacier National Park. Changes in temperature will change vegetation, affecting wildlife, including mountain goats and grizzly bears. What's happening in Glacier is also happening in other jewels of the U.S. National Park System, like Yellowstone and the Grand Tetons. Drastically less snow, much hotter summers, and eventually wholesale changes in ecosystems. Wildlife tourism is vital to local economies. More barren parks may draw fewer camera-toting visitors. Well, you gotta do what's right, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gotta do what's right. Montana Governor Brian Schweitzer takes global warming seriously. It won't be the end of the human species. It may be the end of a few species that are on the edge, but it will make cataclysmic changes in the way we live. He says it could damage Montana's economy. And about two million people visit Glacier National Park every year, and so it really is a, one of the backbones of Montana's economy. And so Glacier National Park without glaciers, imagine that. The Native American Blackfeet tribe has lived in the shadow of these mountains for millennia. To 82-year-old Blackfeet Chief Earl Old Person, this is holy ground. The whole area, this whole mountain front is sacred because this is where we get our visions, and a lot of dreams. People appear to a spiritual people. In many ways. He says the elders warned him decades ago that the balance of nature was being disrupted. They're saying there's too many things that's going up into the air, too many things going up into the sky. That's changing a lot of things, even our way of life. Old person is one of the last living people who remembers the mountain song, sung by warriors who roamed in what is now Glacier Park long ago. And so this is the song. Once, many people knew this song, and there were many glaciers on the mountains. Now, there are only a few, and soon, there may be none. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, in Glacier National Park, Montana.